You, three American hostages freed in a major prisoner swap have spent their first full day back on U.S. soil after enduring months and years of brutal conditions in Russian prisons. Evan Gershkovich, Paul Whelan, and Alsu Kermasheva are being medically evaluated as they begin their long road to recovery. Whelan says his sudden freedom is slowly sinking in, and we've learned what Gershkovich requested before leaving Russia. Samantha Cortese joins us live from the News Center with what we have learned tonight. Sam. Micah, Mary Beth, incredible journalism from the Wall Street Journal, highlighting how their colleague made it back to U.S. soil. Talks for a swap began with an American hostage envoy meeting with a Bulgarian journalist in a D.C. restaurant. They wrote on cocktail napkins ideas for who might move the needle for Russia to consider a trade. From there, we saw Tucker Carlson push Putin on X. Gershkovich's mother plead with international leaders, and it all led to this moment. A reunion years in the making. Three American prisoners freed from Russia. Wall Street Journal reporter Evan Gershkovich, retired U.S. Marine Paul Whelan, and radio journalist Alsu Kermasheva, greeted by President Biden, Vice President Harris, and their loved ones at Joint Base Andrews. Evan, how do you feel the line with the home? This prisoner exchange is historic, the largest since the Cold War. The deal involved 24 prisoners. Russia and Belarus freed 16 people in exchange for the release of eight Russian prisoners from the U.S. and European allies. Russian President Vladimir Putin primarily wanted this man back, his hitman and good friend Vadim Krasikov. But Krasikov was in German custody following a murder in Berlin. The Wall Street Journal reports the deal took years of conversations between America, Germany, and public pleas from Gershkovich's mother. Russian oppositionalist Alexei Navalny was supposed to be part of the swap, but some say his suspicious death in Russian prison put the heat on the Biden administration to get a deal done. It looks like you're, you're still willing to trade, right? You're willing to make concessions to people that do the wrong thing. Many worry this perpetuates a Putin tactic. Hostage diplomacy, wrongfully detain Americans in exchange for Russian prisoners. For example, basketball player Brittany Griner's release in exchange for a Russian arms dealer. There's always the risk that that will embolden others to engage in the same levels. But you're also putting you know, potential bad actors back in play again. So you, know, you take a convicted killer like Vadim uh, Krasikov, he could be returned back to uh, Russia and put back in as uh, an assassin again and used by Putin to go target others out there. Before Gershkovich could leave Russia, he had to write an official request for presidential clemency. On that page, there's space for comment. And while it could be left blank, Gershkovich filled the page, ending with a question, would Putin be willing to sit down for an interview? No response yet. In the News Center, Samantha Cortese, KTLA 5 News. Samantha, thank you.